O-M-G. AC family, there has been an ongoing ant war within one of our ant farm setups, and we had no idea. Returning to my home after being gone for two weeks, I was shocked to discover that within our Garden of Eden, a large terrarium that is home to our growing colony of marauder ants, a colony you guys have called the Titans, there has been an epic war ensuing. But not so fast. This was not just any war. This was an ant war. And not what you expect. Today, you will see how real ant wars occur in the wild as we get a chance to watch for the first time on this channel, not one, not two, but three different ant colonies coming in contact and interacting with each other. You won't want to miss this exciting and rare opportunity to watch what happens when the Titans, our marauder ants, are forced to confront savage black crazy ants and a third surprise species, which I have never before featured on this channel. Today, these ants all battle over an essential resource for survival, food. So keep on watching until the end because I'll need your advice on what to do. Time to explore the rules of ant war, AC family, in this action-packed episode of the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Tired of nature channels not showing nature shows? Just watch this channel. Enjoy. Welcome to the Garden of Eden, the site of much drama and turmoil, life and death of creatures of different kinds. In fact, the story of this terrarium, which used to be home to my late bearded dragon, is so twisted and epic, we concluded that my bearded dragon's ghost haunted it. We called it the Dragon's Curse. But hold on, if you're new to the channel, don't get confused by this paranormal talk. This is a science channel, but I do suggest you watch our last episode on this terrarium for their complete story, which I will place in an iCard here, so you know exactly what this terrarium and its inhabitants have been through. Essentially, the ant colony that lives here now, our beloved Titans, has had quite a rough time. Before two weeks ago, we questioned whether or not the Titans were even alive. But happily, upon some weed trimming, we discovered that the Titans indeed were strengthening their numbers secretly underground after all this time. We were super delighted at this news because it meant that these massive territories could finally be home to one of our resident ant colonies. But it seems... Unpredictability is a frequent guest here in the Garden of Eden. For though it felt like a chapter was finally closed in the saga of the Dragon's Curse, a new one just opened. And I feel this is a twisted one which we will have to follow for a while. Giant skeletons of superworms lay stripped of its meat in a clearing within the Garden of Eden. And here are some of the Titans now patrolling the area, perhaps snooping to see if there was any superworm meat left on site. I was happy to see that the Titans were eating well while I was away. My housekeeper has been diligent at providing the Titans with a good variety of cockroaches, superworms, and sweets. I was excited to feed them tonight. I wanted to see our Titans emerge in all their majestic glory. The Titans are truly a prized ant colony on this channel. They're unique because they're polymorphic ants, meaning among the many smaller workers, they also have walking among them massive super majors which specialize in cutting up food and enemies. They're native to Southeast Asia, and as a species are known to be difficult to keep in captivity. But it seems today, we've been doing a pretty good job at providing this epic colony what it needs. I placed a cut up cockroach into the Garden of Eden. And here, AC family, is where I was about to witness an ant war. At first, the cockroach lay there, waiting to be discovered by one of our titans. The smell of its freshly spilled roach blood called Hemolymph, filled the surrounding area. A definite draw for any nearby Titan. Let's watch what happens. Yes, a Titan inspects the cockroach. As soon as it identifies that this huge roach is food, it will head back to the colony and let them know about it. But then suddenly appeared an ant that completely shocked me. It was a black crazy ant. What? Where did this black crazy ant come from? And how did it even get in here? And then appearing on site was another ant I had never seen before. AC family, this tiny yellow ant seen here is the world infamous Pharaoh ant, Monomorium pharonis. Now how did this ant get in here? So many questions, but I sat quietly and watched closely. Our Titan 
The black crazy ant and the feral ant inspected the cockroach carcass and soon would flee back to their respective colonies to inform their families of their find. Watch what happens. I will not cut the video. Look at how long it took for the first fleet of ants to arrive. Enter a mob of black crazy ants. This was insane! Look at how many of them there were! They began to pour in in droves, clamoring about in hopes to taste that sweet cockroach meat. Following their trail, I was surprised to discover they were coming out from the shadows in this driftwood piece. Wherever they were coming from, it seemed this cockroach was now theirs. Or was it? AC family, keep your eye on any one black crazy ant worker. In almost an instant, our titans arrive on site and completely drive out the black crazy ants, biting and pulling on their antennae. Perhaps it was hard to see because if you're not used to seeing ants, our titans and the black crazy ants look the same. But let's watch that again in slow motion. The cockroach is covered in black crazy ants and then suddenly the titans arrive and show the black crazy ants who's boss of the Garden of Eden. Isn't that just crazy? What we just witnessed here was our titans whooping some serious black crazy ant butt. The titans were filing in now from this place in the driftwood. It seemed the cockroach carcass was officially property of the titans. As the titans proceeded to enjoy their meal, what interested me now were our black crazy ant guests. Where did they come from? I watched as some black crazy ants circled the periphery as the titans feasted, trying to get near but still keeping their distance like careful cowards. It seemed they knew to stay away from the titans. For sure, these black crazy ants had moved in from outside. They must have been a savage colony who entered my home, discovered how habitable the Garden of Eden was, and decided to move their colony in and set up camp somewhere at this location within the driftwood. Not to be confused with our own black crazy ants, the Dark Knights, who live securely still in their two-story setup nearby. These black crazy ants in the Garden of Eden were alien ants, ants from outside. In a previous video, we saw that the Dark Knights were able to escape this terrarium, despite a layer of baby powder barrier, by gripping onto the corners of the tank. So this is probably how these savage black crazy ants got into the Garden of Eden. As for that random pharaoh ant, I'll get to that later. But what was super intriguing to me now about all of this, was it seemed the newly moved in savage black crazy ants were not an immediate threat to our titans. As I continued to watch them, it seemed the black crazy ants were respecting the titan's command for space. Now as a general rule in ant keeping, you should never mix two ant colonies together, especially two different species of ants, as it would result in ant war. But it seems in this case, the two separate colonies have learned to share the space and they've established a sort of pecking order. It appeared as though our titans were the alpha colony, and these savage black crazy ants were subordinates. 
Perhaps our titans were like lions in the Serengeti, and the black crazy ants were like hyenas, waiting for our titans to finish before having their fill. I could understand this, as black crazy ants seem to be a bit less aggressive than most ants, and can even be kind of dopey. The titans, on the other hand, were a fierce species, and were now sending in some majors. Not super majors yet, but majors nonetheless, to help with cutting up the cockroach carcass. Now check this, AC family. I decided that I needed to test this theory of ant alphaism. Had the ants truly established a sort of pecking order? Were the ants truly forming a truce or understanding and willing to share the space? The reason why these were critical questions was because I didn't want our titans to be in danger. In danger of being outcompeted for food, outcompeted for space should the black crazy ant colony grow, and or even killed by the black crazy ants. Because just a reminder, it was a savage black crazy ant colony that murdered our jawbreakers in the past in one fell swoop. Wouldn't it be the biggest plot twist of the century if these savage black crazy ants were the murderers of our jawbreakers? Okay, that's too much to think about now. It was time to test to see if our titans were indeed the alphas of this land. I placed in a second cockroach into the Garden of Eden, this time closer to the driftwood where the black crazy ants were emerging from earlier. If this second cockroach would be overtaken by the titans, it would mean that these black crazy ants indeed were no threat to our titans, and their presence was nothing to be concerned about. A black crazy ant approached the cockroach, and it soon left to tell the colony, even carrying a piece of the cockroach back. I watched as some titans wandered close to the cockroach. Ideally, I wanted the black crazy ants to find the roach first, and then see if eventually the titans would overthrow them, as they did with this first cockroach. It wasn't long before the black crazy ants came rushing in. It was truly amazing to think that just inches away from each other, two separate ant colonies were feeding and not warring. I was particularly interested in the space between the black crazy ants and our titans. There seemed to be an understood border now, where the titans seemed to stay on one side and the black crazy ants on the other. There was no fighting at this border. It was just respect. What did this all mean? Could these two ant colonies be respecting each other's space? Or could it be that the titans were allowing the black crazy ants to eat their fill because they felt they had enough with this first cockroach? Could these two colonies be friends? So many questions. I knew I just needed to wait for the answers. But what I didn't know was that what was about to happen next would leave me with more questions. Three hours later, I came back to a shocking discovery. The titans were still working on their cockroach, but as for the second cockroach, it was completely covered with feral ants. What? Where did the black crazy ants go? And where did all these feral ants come from? Unreal. So this is the very first time we've ever featured feral ants on this channel. They may be small, but they're a force to reckon with. First off, look here. This larger ant is a queen, and so is this one. In fact, feral ants are polygynous, like black crazy ants, meaning they have many queens in a single colony. 
In fact, feral ants may have even more queens to workers than black crazy ants. Which means these colonies reproduce super fast. I tried to follow the trail of feral ants to see where they were coming from. And yep, it seemed they all were breaking and entering from one of the corners, completely crossing the baby powder barrier. So that one sole feral ant worker we saw at the beginning of this video actually made the long trek back to its colony, wherever it was, and brought the whole gang into the Garden of Eden to feast. So far it seemed they stole the bounty of the black crazy ants and not our titans. This so far was a good sign. I wondered how long this three ant species interaction had been going. I wondered if all these feral ants would also decide to move into the Garden of Eden, seeing as they now knew it was good hunting ground for food. But most important of all, I wondered if these two savage colonies were endangering our titans. I decided to come back later and see what would happen. I return to the Garden of Eden at 3 a.m. AC family, are you ready for this? The second roach was still covered in feral ants. And as for our first cockroach... Also covered in feral ants! Uh-oh, what did this mean? Did the feral ants end up driving out our titans? Or were the titans simply finished with their meal, so they allowed the feral ants to have their fill? I spotted a titan nearby, and it looked as though it was being bullied or chastised by the feral ants. There were black crazy ants also present, and they circled the periphery, not getting too close to the feral ants' meal. So here's where I need your help, AC family. The Titans are no longer alone. There's an active black crazy ant colony that have set up camp inside the Garden of Eden, and there is also now a persistent and scary feral ant colony that enter and exit the Garden of Eden freely. Who knows if they plan to also move in? So my questions are as follows. One, do you think we should be concerned about the safety of our Titans? Two, do you think the black crazy ant colony is a threat? Three, do you think the feral ant colony is a threat? And four, if yes, what measure should we take to ensure the titans remain safe from these savage ants from the outside? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. AC family, once again, the fate of our titans lays in your hands. I don't know what's next for our titans, but it seems their next chapter has just begun. And the saga of the dragon's curse continues in our Garden of Eden. I am eager to see what comes next. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, do hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon too, so you can keep updated on this unfolding epic ant story. Until next week, AC family, it's ant love forever. Alright AC fam, isn't this all just insane? This ongoing Dragon's Curse saga is too epic. Nature truly keeps us on our toes. Now AC family, it seems this new savage black crazy ant colony and the intruding force to reckon with, the feral ants, will be new ongoing colonies on this channel, so they will also each need names. Leave your name suggestions for the black crazy ants and feral ants in the comment section, and I will choose my favorites for the AC family to vote on in a future video. AC Inner Colony, I have left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would just like to watch some extended play footage of the three ant colonies in this video to the sounds of some relaxing music. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, what is the name of the order to which woodlice belong? Congratulations to Clash, who correctly answered Isopoda. Congratulations Clash, you just won a free ebook handbook from our shop. In this week's AC question of the week, we ask, name one thing black crazy ants and feral ants have in common. Leave your answer in the comment section and you could win a free ant t-shirt from our shop. 
Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love Forever.